Today we're going to demonstrate how WebSphere Smash can be used to quickly build an integration. The scenario we're going to use is an automobile manufacturer with a network of dealerships. They have an ad hoc process for the replacement of security keys which involves emailing a spreadsheet to the factory. Since the manufacturer already uses Sugar CRM, we're going to automate the process using Sugar and WebSphere Smash. We will build a workflow which receives the emails, detaches the spreadsheets, parses them, updates Sugar CRM, and then sends messages to the existing factory and courier systems that use MQ today. Let's see how it's done. This is App Builder, the web browser based tooling in Smash. We click on the demo application to open it. We're going to create a workflow in the flow tooling. This is going to run as a handler for an event which will be fired periodically. We'll see how to configure that in a moment. We'll create the flow as a view in App Views. This is the flow editor. As you can see, there is a palette of activities on the right to choose from. We want the mail activities, so we'll open these. The activities we want are those to receive a mail message, to find the attachment within the message, to extract the attachment, once we've extracted the message we'll need to process it to extract the fields we want. This is a bit of a specialist activity and we don't have a, special, a specific activity for this in the palette so we're going to fire an event which will catch with a PHP script. We pull out the fire event activity for this. Fire event is, is a special activity that we have pull, pulled into this application from an extension. Now we wire up the activities in the order that they will run. We must tell the find mail attachment activity how to find the attachment. We could have done this based upon the file name or the attachment index, but we'll use the MIME type. We have to set the get mail attachment to take its input from the find mail attachment. Now we set up the fire event with the event name that it's going to fire. We'll use this event name later when we come to configure the PHP script to catch it. The data carried by the event will be the attachment itself. We set this up as an input with the name attachment and the contents which come from the get mail attachment activity. Now, let's look at the PHP script that's going to be fired to process the attachment when it's been detached from the email. The first thing you'll notice is a bunch of Java import statements at the top of the script. These import the Java classes into the runtime as PHP classes. The classes we're using come from the open source project Apache POI which provides a Java interface to the Microsoft Office binary format files. There isn't really an equivalent for this in the PHP world. There is for the XML format files, but not for the older but widely used binary format files. Note that the class Excel workbook actually extends the Java HSSF workbook. This ability to extend Java classes in PHP is one of the features of our Java bridge. We add a convenient facade method to get the value of a particular cell. You'll see the PHP syntax here being used to access the underlying Java code. This code parses the spreadsheet and extracts particular fields from it. We then JSON encode the data and post it into Sugar. We can see that following the RESTful convention, we are using the POST method to create a new resource of type case. This last line actually makes use of the REST to SOAP capability in the connection layer in Smash. This creates a RESTful interface on top of the SOAP interface that Sugar CRM has. I'm not going to show you the code for that in this demo, but it is available on the accompanying blog entry in projectzero.org. It's set up to allow any kind of record in Sugar to be manipulated via the regular RESTful CRUD operations. The last thing to look at is the configuration file zero.config. Most of this is cut and pasted straight out of the documentation. At the top 
we have an entry which tells the mail client how to log in to the mail server. We configure the application to start immediately. We configure a mail kicker to fire every 8 seconds to pull the mail queue. This event handler configures the mail handler to pull my mail store and submit any mail it finds into Smash. We have a mail receiver and a handler for processing mail messages. And this uses the flow that we just built as its view. This handler catches the event we fire from the flow and sends it to the PHP script we just saw. And finally, we have the configuration for the rest to soap layer. We have now seen the code which receives the mail and adds the records to sugar. Let's look at how these records are passed to the existing MQ systems at the factory and the courier. Here is the logic hook in Sugar CRM custom directory. This is the logic hook for cases. It's this line that causes the event handler for the JMS to MQ code to be invoked. Let's look at the code for that. This code will be run by Sugar each time a new case is created. It's these five lines that are important. These send the event via the Smash Connection API and JMS using the PHP to Java bridge. We have built the whole scenario now, so let's see it in action. We're going to be capturing the information that's been sent in via spreadsheet into Sugar CRM as cases in Sugar. So let's look at the cases page and we'll see that there are currently no cases uh, entered into the application. The spreadsheet that we're going to be using for this demonstration is a fairly simple affair. It just contains a few details of the person and the car for which a new high security key needs to be created. And we're going to email that using just a Thunderbird email client. Uh, and actually it's going to be sent via uh, an email server that's on my local machine to eliminate any network issues. So I'm going to send this to uh, this address on my local machine. The subject um, can be anything at all, it doesn't really matter. And the body can be, it can be blank and empty. The key thing is that the attachment is the spreadsheet that I've just shown you. And we'll send that. So as I showed you, the uh, Smash application will poll around every eight seconds or so. So I think it's been about eight seconds. So we'll refresh the screen. And here we have the new entry that's been created. And click on that to go into the uh, details. And we can see here's all the data that was extracted from the spreadsheet that was emailed in using uh, Apache POI and posted in using the rest of SOAP layer. The last part of the demonstration involves forwarding this information on to the existing uh, MQ system uh, in the enterprise which is, is used by the factory and also by the courier firm. So I've actually got MQ installed here on my local system. And I'm going to be using, for the purposes of this demonstration, the postcard queue, which is installed by default in MQ as a test and demonstration queue. So if I right click on here, browse some messages, I will see that as a result of uh, adding that entry into Sugar CRM, the uh, message and the data has already been forwarded into MQ. And it appears here as uh, an entry in the queue. And the final part of the demonstration, I'm going to use the JMS postcard application to pull that data out of the queue. I've arranged that if I sign into this application as Jim, the data will be delivered from MQ into this application just to, uh, to show, to demonstrate uh, that the data is now um, you know, available to an enterprise application using MQ. That concludes our demonstration. In summary, we've shown how WebSphere Smash can be used to build agile integrations using PHP, the Java Bridge, our Flow, and our Connection API. Please visit 
projectzero.org for more information. Thank you.